Good morning, Council. I am Reverend Joan C. Ross from uh, North and Woodward Community Coalition and a member of Equitable Detroit. Don't let Lansing tell us what to do in our own neighborhoods. House Bill 5977 would take away the right of Detroit and other local governments to operate the way the people want them to operate. This bill will tie our hands, the hands of the people, and the hands of the local elected officials. It prevents elected officials and their constituents from negotiating with giant corporations for community benefits when those corporations use our money and our public resources. Under this bill, if Olympia, Meyer, or Google wanted to use your tax dollars, land, or public infrastructure to create huge projects, they could. Those projects would earn them billions, and you have absolutely no right to ask that local people even be hired. Those companies will have no legal objections to compensating people unfairly for their houses that will be taken away. This bill is an attempt to silence our will, the will of the people. But if you have been paying attention lately to what's happening across this country, the people will not be silenced. This is a fundamental uh, break in our democracy. The right to, to keep very rich and powerful companies using our tax dollars, running roughshod over you and our communities. Please, put, put your resolution in against Bill 5977. Good morning, Council. Um, my name is Linda Campbell, and I am here representing the People's Platform, which is a citywide network of over 2,500 Detroiters. As many of you know, I have uh, made many appearances before you these past several months uh, working on behalf of community to support your efforts to pass this Community Benefit Agreement Ordinance. And I want to thank those of you who have stood with community, who have listened to our issues, our concerns, and who were preparing to honor that uh, with your support. I, uh, I urge the Council today to uh, support the resolution opposing House Bill 5977. House Bill 5977 is a frightening overreach of government that takes, the way, takes away the right of voice from communities. It forces me to question what is the role then of local government and its residents and citizens if each and every time folks come together to act in a democratic way, we live in fear that someone, some obscure legislator, can go on the floor in Lansing and strip away the rights that we all believe we're entitled to. We know that this has a far-reaching impact, but we know that it is targeting Detroiters. When will the punitive, small-minded politics cease in Lansing? Again, I urge you to vote in opposition to House Bill 5977 and know that thousands of residents of Detroit across this city stand with you.